Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day seven of the Deco Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's problem. Uh, yeah, uh, I actually just got out. It's it's pouring outside. There's thunderstorms and everything. I, did, I began my run very quickly, and then I just kind of came back. And I figured, you know, while I dry up, I might as well just do this thing before going out and try to finish. Probably not that long. Um, so this weekend, I am actually doing um, uh, the Manhattan Perimeter, uh, which is about 31 to 35 miles, depending on which route you take. Uh, so I'm going to try to do a, a loop around Manhattan. And so this week, I'm just kind of taking it easy uh, uh, in terms of, you know, it's not a race race. It's just me and my buddy. But, you know, we'll see how that goes. But, uh, but yeah, that's my goal for this weekend. Uh, yeah, so for now, let's, so yeah, I, I want to get a few more miles in though for today, but uh, we'll see if the rain allows me to do it. Alright, let's take a look at today's poem, 273, Integer to English Words. Okay, convert a non-negative integer nums to his English words representation. Okay, this is, uh, this feels very annoying, so we might have 20 different wrong answers, but, uh, but we can definitely do it. Um, right, so, uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, I guess this isn't going to be a quick one where I get to go back um, uh, inside or whatever. So, okay, let, let's think about these rules, right? Um, okay. I mean, I, yeah. I mean, I think we just have to think about the rules. Um, okay. So digits, right? So, okay. So we have one to ten. Okay. I, I, guess, I guess we should write it out. Um, yeah. Maybe like we have. Okay. Zero. Hmm, zero is kind of awkward though, but let's just say we have a lookup table for now, right? Maybe zero? Yeah. Does it have to be in caps? Maybe, I don't know. One is one. I mean, we have to write it at some point anyway, I suppose. Two, three, four. I don't know if I would ever get this on an interview, or at least maybe I would be very uh, annoyed because it's just not super interesting. It's just a lot of if statements. Um, I think, right? So, eh, I don't know. Okay. And then we have to do 10 and then the teens, right? So, okay. That is annoying. So, 10, 11, <clears throat> 12, 13. You ask me if typing ever matters, and I usually say no, but uh, maybe for this problem a little bit. 15. 16 I and mean, I think maybe you could eh, some of these you can maybe kind of cheat but I feel like uh, that's more trouble than it's worth okay but we're almost done is that no that's not right wait how do you spell 19 is that it <laughs> uh, I think so I'm just getting confused huh? All right, 20, we definitely need something. Oops. Uh, what is it? 21, we could do... Uh, yeah, and then 30, maybe? 40. 40? 50, 50? 60? I mean, honestly, what you see me is just, like, thinking about it while I'm doing it. I don't... There's nothing subtle about what I'm doing. Uh, 80, 90... And then, uh, and then a hundred. I mean, I'm just trying to think whether the one place we should have, you know, uh, yeah, maybe th maybe these are specific lookups, and then the other ones we can just do. Di I call it digits. I don't know if they're digits, but you know, so one hundred is hundred, right? Thousand and then ten thousand, a hundred thousand, a million, right? Uh, and then billion after that, right? Okay, right. I mean, the good thing is that everything should be moddable, so we should be okay, maybe. And we don't need to do anything N and stuff like this, so I guess that's good. Okay, so then now what do we want to do? Um, hmm. Yeah, okay. So then now, I guess we want to do the digits first. 
right? And maybe actually, I, I don't want to write it. Ooh, what did I do? I don't want to write it quite like this, but maybe I want to write it as a as a list instead of a lookup because I think that makes more sense. And maybe this is a tuple instead of um, you know, and I want to do it in reverse order actually, right? Hmm. Sorry, this is. I mean, I don't think there's that much. Like, I don't think there's that much algorithmic stuff to me to explain. It's just about, you know, typing it out. And I don't know if my logic is interesting, but I think the logic is how most people would probably try to do it, right? Okay. And then now. Okay, so then now for each. Um, yeah, maybe we just do it for each digit, right? So now. For. Um, V for value, L for label in digits. We'll say uh, num. Was it num? Num. Um, if num is greater than or equal to the value, then now we want to do something like this, right? So this is going to be the um, the current thing, right? And then basically it is just going to be whatever function that we have. Yeah, um, and then num we divided by, or we subtracted by this thing. Well, that's not true. Uh, we actually do, 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 do. right? Uh, and then maybe I just have an answer away for now. And then here we maybe we just go, uh, just do. Uh, how do you want to convert? Okay, fine. Convert current. Um, yeah, and then. We, we append uh, the label, right? Yeah, I'm gonna just use better variable names. I've been a little bit lazy, that's my fault, right? Okay, yeah. Because, let me double check, because basically like it's just whatever's on top of this, right? Yeah, I think that makes sense, but we don't we don't handle hundred thousand or hundred million or hundred uh, billion correctly. The hundred billion is too big for the input, but still, um, mm, that should be okay though. We'll play around with it. I mean, we'll, we'll. I guess in that case, technically, a hundred is not needed for this. It's not a thing, so we will just put in the other convert thing. So uh, yeah. Okay, so then now we know that um, convert, uh, maybe and start up, uh, extend, right? And then just return to the join and this, something like this should be okay. Um, of course, we, we still have to do once. So, yeah. Um, so then now at the end, if num is greater than zero it's a little bit tricky because zero is an input right so we have to think about it right so eh, maybe we'll just be lazy to be honest if num is equal to zero we turn zero uh maybe just kind of cancel it out okay so if num is still greater than zero then we just extend convert um num i think we should be good and here then now we have a convert function right uh and then just read for value and this basically means that we have something less than a thousand so so that means that it's multiple hundreds right so eh, maybe we'll just do more if statements because i'm i mean you can maybe clean it up a little bit but i don't even think it's that clean um yeah so then this is the return result and then we have okay so if v is greater than or equal to 100 then we um divided by 100 so we want this to be part of the lookup Right, so then here we just have lookup of this thing and then we mod 100. So then we have all dot append this um, and then all dot append 100. This I think you should put in a constant somewhere, of course, but uh, but for now, I'm, I mean, eh, it's fine for now. I mean, it's not a great thing, but it's only the only place we use it, but it's still a magic constant. Um, if we're going to do it with something that's more real life e, but uh, but yeah, we can't do it here anyway. Okay, so then now. 
now we want um yeah, I mean I think it's just more if statements, right? I mean I don't think there's really easy, I mean maybe you could do something clever, but honestly sometimes it's just not because sometimes you do want the risk of being too clever and then you have a typo and you can't debug it. Or just some bug that is subtle and you can't debug it because it's too clever, right? So yeah, so then now we append uh look up uh how how do you get the digit that is now okay so if it's greater than 20 then we want um i guess just throw it by 10 right Start it by 10 times 10 to get the digit and i think that should be good because this rounds down in case you are wondering uh and then all that oh then that's it right there's no tens and then we uh we just 10 really yeah i think we're good that's only if it's greater than if v is greater than 10 then we just literally look up of v and then v is equal to zero and then if v is still greater than uh oh and and greater than zero and positive say right if, if v is still greater than zero oops then we can just append uh, i guess in this case because of this then now we can just look it up we can actually merge these right because we just have a lookup anyway and then now we can return r um okay so that's it i mean am i confident about this not at all but this is why we have testing and in theory uh this is very easy to come up with test cases and stuff like this right this looks pretty good for now actually but uh but we definitely need a couple more nines is that right uh, see, I mean, wait, oh, 90 is zero. Hmm. How do I even get zero here? Oh, oh, because I didn't do uh, if v is greater than zero. Uh, okay. I was gonna, I was in, in the process of writing it and I forgot, but luckily this got caught by a random case. I didn't even, you know, it wasn't even a trick. It wasn't even a good case. But yeah, I mean, we, could, we should in theory handle edge cases like zero, but we literally have an if statement. So if that's wrong, that would be very sad, of course um what other weird cases can it be i mean i think we have to test some of these and of course honestly uh it, it, there's a good chance that there's a typo in one of these as well or just maybe i don't know how to spell right but uh but yeah like maybe 12 or something right yeah uh but you know this is why we have testing and in theory we're using their uh thing as testing so we'll give a submit oh that is actually surprising, but uh, honestly, I really thought that, the, I mean, it's either that or te their test case sucks, which I guess is supposed possible, but honestly, it probably is that, um, I don't know, I'm actually surprised because it's just so easy to make a silly mistake here, right? But I don't think I did anything that clever, honestly. Um, I think these lookup tables are useful, definitely think about it, and, you know, eh, okay. But, um, yeah, this is the, th these are the digits. And these are the code. I don't know what to showcase here. I mean, these are, you know, reasonable. Like, like I think for this one, I try to think about how to do it. But I would also say that I am an English speaker. So definitely, if, you know, if you're not native English speaking, then th there could be some a little bit like trickiness to this. Uh, you don't expect. But I wouldn't even like fault anyone, right? It's just, you know, like... Like if you don't know the rules and they don't tell you the rules, it's not your fault. Just you know, do it. Um, that's all I have for this one, though. I don't know. I, I mean, yeah. And for example, if you just don't know how, if you get a wrong answer because you have a typo here, is it really like? Does it really test your programming skill? Eh, not really, right? Uh, as long as you know, if you're an interview. I think the focus about oh, problems like this one would be. Um, the focus about problems like this one would be just talking about it. Right, talking about testing, talking about how to test, and talking about just you know, um, uh, like, like not what happens when everything goes right, but ev when anything goes wrong, right? And writing in the code that kind of allows you to to make changes. Uh, for example, for, for example, we're changing to this to Espanol. How would this change, right? To Spanish or something like, you know, yeah. Uh, and some languages have. Like in Chinese, even right, um, you know, in Chinese, the 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 placeholder or the digits, if you want to call it that, I, digits is not quite a good name for it, but the, they're the equivalent of digits, like ten thousand, right? 
So then, like, you have a different multiplier. Does it have different rules or something, right? Actually, I guess other than using 10,000, the, the thing is actually pretty uh, standard. Or it's, it should be much easier than the English version. Just because, well, I mean, only slightly because you, there's no uh, re different word for the tens or the teens. So, yeah, hmm, I don't know. Anyway, uh, that's all I have for this one, though. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Uh, yeah. Hit, hit all the buttons, stay good, stay healthy to good mental health. Uh, I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.